I have a question for you. Could 9-11 have been explained by Clash of Civilization theory? Of course it does. But wait, is it the only explanation of 9-11? Or the best explanation of 9-11? Well, that's what we're going to find out. I've made a course on Udemy to explain everything about the Clash of Civilization theory, but I will share some of it here. Huntington drew his map based upon the dominant religion in areas. And so Huntington presents us this map where the Western civilization clearly dominates the rest. Ten distinctive civilizations. Let's summarize section one. Huntington's theory is a reaction to the end of history thesis by Francis Fukuyama. Huntington states that after the end of the Cold War, history continues to be a struggle between cultural groups. Secondly, the world is not about one struggle of civilization against barbarism, according to Huntington. It's a struggle between civilizations. And thirdly, those civilizations are cultural supergroups. Is it true? Is this the ultimate theory which explains conflict and cooperation in the art of international relations? Well, yes and no. So let's discover this by viewing Huntington in the next sections as a policymaker, a historian, and a political scientist. Please join me in section two.